And to be honest, there's one of two disagreements. So the, the, big, the biggest disagreement for those who haven't read them all, there's, there's 10 basic statements in there. I think there's number three, which is the one which always gets people chatting. I think it's the carbon life one. Oh, go on, go on, this, go on you can dive in. The, the, the thing that the law is something around every identity should at some stage be tied back to a carbon life form, so a physical person ultimately, um, especially for the workloads, NHI, agentic AI, you name it, smart TVs, what, what, anything where there isn't a, a physical uh, person there. And it was, I think a lot of people, once they actually understand and nod and agree, actually, yeah, that's that probably not a bad thing. But the problem is with this, is that actually a lot of our human identity records and identity profiles are not linked to a carbon life form either, which is this subtle part which a lot of people miss. Because even if your your Active Directory record, um, it's not necessarily tied to a biometric, validated and verified identity. It's just Simon's EAD entry with the UPN and whatever else. So there's a bit of a subtlety in that around trying to make this real for, for, for all identities. But yeah, the, the laws was really, again, get, having some discussion, put, putting a flag in this app. I don't want to own the flag in the sand, but I will put the flag there and we can all at least dance around it or discuss it and, and get that, get those topics on people's agenda around talking about policy, talking about clean cleanliness of, of, of identity data, humans, people, software, devices. You know, let's talk about all of that stuff as well. And just, yeah, raise awareness was the, was the idea behind it.